Hello everyone, and welcome back to The Sims Medieval, where we are taking a completely unnecessary detour in our desperation to acquire simple amounts of cinnamon. Yes, we are actually sending Rydnia after she got so frustrated with not being able to find cinnamon in the village shops. We are sending her out to a new island, Gastrobury. I don't even know what that's going to do. I have never really bought the super expensive uh, maps to the islands before, but Renia has had enough of not being able to get her hands on the cinnamon that she needs. And I did indeed look it up. I actually watched not one, not two, but three different people's little let's play clips of this moment when you are supposed to find cinnamon. And it was actually a lot harder to find others playing Sims Medieval than I thought. It's a wonderful game, my friends. All of you should be jumping in on it. I mean, it's on sale all the time. So seriously, it's fantastic. I love it. It is one of my favorites, but I will stop waxing on about it. But I watched three different people do this and they sent their heroes to the village shop and managed to acquire some cinnamon. So I don't know what is going on with ours. Maybe we just need to like try again tomorrow. I'm gonna have Zane possibly. Oh my gosh, she's throwing a tomato. Oh, he's holding his bird. Griffin, you got back. What'd you bring us, buddy? We need to go ahead and, and summon Griffin back to us. But I'm going to have even Zane go try to do some shopping for cinnamon. I am so desperate for this to work. Um, I also got some cretium. We can go ahead and sell that. So let's see what happens. Hey, don't you guys judge me. I, I still have to steal a soul from someone. Which is actually cast spirit thief is his last responsibility of the day. But I'm going to have him come over to the stocks and I sent him here so that we could pick someone to cast Spirit Thief on. Um, I think it's actually going to be this Gaston looking guy, Pirate Lackey Saul. He kind of reminds me of Gaston from Beauty and the Beast. And I mean, look at him. He literally looks like Gaston, doesn't he? <laughs> <laughs> I expect him to break into song any second now, but he he looks like he could be quite the, the ne'er-do-well. So we're going to go ahead and cast Spirit Thief on him because I need to use it. Oh my gosh! And a fight is breaking out between the merchants and the pirates down here. I mean, you expect that, but still. All right. Sorry, Gaston lookalike. I mean, you do look like you're up to no good. Zane's hair always disappears for a second when he does his spells. And there we go. We have now cast Spirit Thief on, on Saul, but I'm not really sure what it does. Like, like, what does it do to him? Anything? Did I get like, oh! soul fragment soul fragments are usually harmless but one should take care anyway when they are in one's possession so like i'm not sure what i can do with a soul fragment but i'm kind of happy to have it uh and now we can go ahead and send zane off <laughs> desperately to the village shops to see if maybe that hero can find some cinnamon and meanwhile <gasps> renia you are setting cell you are headed out She's going, my friends! Rania is headed to Gastrobury, and we're gonna see what she manages to find whilst she is off on that adventure. Is there any cinnamon? We're gonna go through nice and slow, keeping an eye out. There's a map to Ephraimont if we really get desperate. Um, I can only think maybe the cinnamon will show up tomorrow. Or we're in huge trouble, or maybe you were supposed to buy the cinnamon the very first day, um, and we didn't. All right, so we're in trouble. Anyway, amidst the bustle of town, Magnus Zane suddenly heard a commotion ahead. Dashing to investigate, Zane came upon quite a sight, a pair of brigadans terrorizing a defenseless mother and child. The fiends appeared to be trying to wrestle a bag out of the woman's hands. What? We absolutely would help the mother. Zane is a good sim, so he would help the mother. This injustice would not stand. Magnus Zane sprang into action to help the mother, or we could help the muggers. Uh, Magnus Zane could help the bandits steal the bag. Who knows what was inside? Maybe good stuff. Is it cinnamon? I would steal a bag from a frantic mother, defenseless mother and her tiny child at this point, if it had cinnamon in it. Oh my gosh. We're going to help the mother. Ahem. <clears throat> 
What just happened? Zane charged forth in defense of the mother with a cry of, Halt! Thieves! Unfortunately, in the confusion in the crowd, Zane was unaware of other brigadans coming around him. In moments, he found himself on the ground, having been pounded several times with heavy clubs. Well, I'm glad we took that hit rather than some poor defenseless mother. And we got an experience boost from that, but we also have a major laceration. Uh, well, hey, now's... Oh, Oh, now's as good a time as any to use Zane's mend ability for the first time. But, seemingly out of nowhere, the dreaded pirate corsair gallery appeared and quickly closed in on treasure hunter Rania's vessel. I guess they heard that we're treasure hunters. With drums pounding and oars tearing at the sea, the evil gallery prepared to attack. The crew began to panic as Rania stared, unable to make a decision. Should we attack? The trade routes and coastal villages would never be safe unless someone took defensive action against the scums of the sea. Treasure hunter Rania would deep six the scourging bas uh, uh, basset hounds <laughs> uh, or sell away. Now was not the time to play hero of the high seas. The current mission was far too important to risk for the vain pursuit of glory and fame. Those who escaped could live to fight another day. I, I feel like Rania would almost jump up in the rigging and like strum her lute, uh, which that reminds me her lute has broken strings, I need to fix it. But she would strum her lute and be like, attack, because that's action, that's drama. She's fun loving, uh, but I think she's never been in a fight or a battle other than with the pit beast before. If this goes poorly, this may be a good time for her to learn not to get into these fights. But if it goes well, she may become a lot more bold and continue to chase after that rush of adrenaline and excitement that engaging in these battles could do. So we attack. All right, the ships crashed into each other with a deafening crack, and the two crews attacked each other like crazed monkeys. The battle lasted for hours with no clear victor and much loss of life on both sides. The ships detached and drew apart in the mist. Feelings of disgrace and shame gripped the crew as they watched the faces of the dead comrades slip beneath the dark waves, their deaths in vain. Oh my gosh, now we have the upset and minor scratch buff. Good grief! It is a bad night for everyone. Are we gonna, like, look at this. Zane's limping. This is terrible. Like, so much has been going on. We are, we are not having a good time. Can we cast Mend on ourselves? Our success odds are low. But I mean, it's better than nothing, right? Oh, that's really cool looking. Please work. We really need to heal up. We've been... Oh, no. I think it didn't work. Cast spell mend. We'll try again. The spell has fizzled out and failed. The fog bank was huge. You had been sailing through it for hours. This is for Rania again. When suddenly the lookout began screaming. A derelict pirate ship drifted among... Uh, drifted into... Sh aimlessly drifted into sight. Gazing upon the ghastly forms floating around the derelict decks, a grim realization has come across you. You've stumbled on a ghost ship. Um, should we bomb them or board the ship? I think we board the ship, oddly enough, because we just had such a dramatic brush with death. And Rania, as a story hunter, I just feel would not be able to destroy the opportunity for such a good story uh, as a pirate ship, the, a ghost pirate ship. And I almost feel like they would go and board the ship out of the desperate desires to possibly see the lost comrades that they they just lost so we're gonna board the ship all right on boarding the ship you were approached by a surprisingly frumpy looking ghost i am the gate master <laughs> Oh my gosh, the references. The ghost needlessly shouted. You tried to ignore him and search the ship uh, with the odd ghost following you around, ranting at you about Vondry or Slores or something. Unfortunate ultimately, you found a few baubles and what appeared to be a treasure map. As you left, the ghost lamented, Ah, oh, don't leave yet. Maybe if we start dancing, other people will join in. How strange. We have received the shard of map tablet and one jeweled ring. So, at least Rania is getting some nice treasure um, and a shard of map tablet. I think we already had a shard of map somewhere in here. We have so many map shards. We just need two more for this map tablet for the ancient map. Oh, that'd be so cool. All right. And Zane's bird is returning. Poor Zane. There we go. 
and his bird has just returned uh, with, holy cow, his bird has just returned with some venison, and Rania had a successful trade of trading away her barley for 765 samols, her cabbage for 853, and her mushroom for 893. What? She went on like some sort of hyper trade mission? Do Ephraimont? Do I know Ephraimont? Like, that's not what I thought was going to happen. Uh, Ephraimont, Ephraimont. Does trade any craft hole, Arbyville. Oh, wow. I guess you just, like, trade random things with, uh, going to that island. I thought it would be, like, treasure hunting, but it was a little different. Uh, all right. Let's go ahead. Magnus Zane, you need to send Griffin off on a new hunt before I send you home. Hold still, Magnus Zane. Okay, call Griffin. There we go. <gasps> Amaranth has returned with an extravagant map piece. We're so rich. I'm going to be so sad if we lose all of our progress on these two because we fell this quest. I will be so sad. All right, let's pet Griffin, feed Griffin, send him hunting. And then I'm actually going to send Zane to sleep at the inn. And then I'm going to go ahead and Amaranth has actually... We also have this ring we can go ahead and sell. Amaranth has brought back another extravagant map piece, which is really good. Amaranthine. Uh, gosh, I can't even... Rania! Rania, my dear! There you are. Alright. Let's go ahead and send treasure hunting. Your, your parrot. And then I'll let her go ahead and pop over to the wizard's tower. Uh, we'll in, like, look at... There we go. And she's just going to borrow Zane's house to sleep for the night. Ah, uh, sleep in Zane's bed. I mean, not like, not like they're a couple. They're really, like, he has a bit of a crush on her, but only when they're doing plays. And they haven't done plays in so long now. So Zane needs to rest. I hope his falcon doesn't wake him up. And so does Rania. And I guess I just have to send her once again to the village shops. Uh, and this is a dream... Let's see. Let's dream about adventure. But it just confused him. Fooey. We're not having a lot of luck, it seems. Hopefully we can turn this around for our heroes, because they're really in a bad way right now. Amaranthine has returned with 50 samoles. Let's go ahead and talk to her and feed her. I kind of feel like you increase your luck if you spend time, like, working with them. Uh, and then let's go ahead, relieve ourselves, take a bath, clean that up, warm hands, make food. We had a really good sleep in a nice bed, and we're going to have to go and spend the day after we get some food. Non-stop hanging out. Oh, we got a dead falcon at the, uh, the village shops yet again. All right, so there we go. Zane's falcon has come. Let's pet him, feed him, and send him hunting. And then let's send Zane home. And we'll try to take care of him. Oh, man, we're down to silver quest performance. I'm trying to find the cinnamon. It's a lot harder than it sounds, okay? Zane's almost home, Rania. Okay, good. She got out of the way. Uh, Zane, you go ahead. You can't really do any of the typical things I was going to have you do. Like, relieve yourself. Here, go upstairs and tell yourself how good looking you are. Because you are a pretty entitled sim. And that'll make him happy until we can have... Do we not have enough for a large meal? She traded away all of her... <laughs> she traded away all of all of her, her food. Fooey. Um, so now they both have to make their own meals. Okay. Someone else is already cooking. Because now... Yeah, there we go. And we'll make some frog soup. I'm just having the kind of day where I feel like frog soup, I suppose. Alright, and now... Rania... How are you do, my dear? Is Amaranthine out hunting? She is out hunting. And Rania, now that you're feeling a little better, I mean, we can go ahead and ask for some first aid. And, I mean, she's feeling about as good as she can get. But let's come over. Where's the physician to ask for, like, first aid? Physician Katrina! Apparently she's not here. Okay. Um... Let's receive our allowance. We've got a ton of money now from all of that adventuring. Uh, can we continue? Where's that map? What? The map got used up? What? Okay, so that's what it does. We got the map. We spent a thousand samoles on it. 
and we got back like close to 2.5 thousand symbols but ah oh, well back on the search for cinnamon i have a feeling we're gonna fill this quest it's gonna be very sad when that happens we got another tiny bone maybe i can console myself by reconstructing a baby dragon skeleton before it's too late so that's that's all i have left to hope for friends is that i can reconstruct a tiny dragon skeleton all right we're gonna go ahead and let zane try to get comfy and get his mood up a little bit. All right, where is that cinnamon? I'm doing everything I should be. Come on. Where is that cinnamon? I wonder if you just don't go- <gasps> The cinnamon! There it is! Oh, happy days! Happy days! Oh my gosh. Let's buy some honey. We're gonna celebrate. Let's get some turnip and some spices. Are you kidding me? Throw the food into the cart. This is gonna be like, we're like, let's get a weak curative tonic to try to help us out a little bit. We are gonna party today. We're gonna get some barley. We're gonna get some wheat so we can make some yummy things. Like this is fantastic. Let's get some of those apples. Why not? Oh my gosh. Yeah, I'm going kind of nuts with the food, but that's cause we are gonna just have a complete celebration this is fantastic we're gonna get grapes we're gonna get some more citrus fruit um and now i know that if you go to gastro B, it's just basically to like trade a bunch of the stuff you might have in your inventory uh the cabbage is really cheap though and we traded like what was it like 12 cabbage for 800 samoles that's kind of ridiculous uh we're gonna get some salt look at all of this let's get some spices in there I am just so tickled. Oh my gosh, we're buying it. We've just spent 800 samoles on food. Uh, but that's because we're going to have a party. Now we need a wash basin. Like this? No, I guess a wash basin would be a little different. Uh, and now we have to we have to cover ourselves in cinnamon. Achoo! I think I got some up my nose. Such a pricey spice, but worth it if it saves my skin. <gasps> we're going to do it! I'm so relieved! Oh, what's this? While moving through the village, treasure hunter Rania almost tripped over an old toothless beggar sitting in a pile of filthy rags. The lo beggar looked up meekly from his one good eye and extended his bony arm. A cracked wooden cup clutched in his claws. Alms for the poor, he groaned. Should we help him? Poor souls such as he required a little love and charity from strangers. One gold samole was likely nothing to treasure hunter Rania, but it would be a fortune to the old beggar. Or should we shove him aside? Because why do some people insist on clogging up the main uh, arteries of trade and commerce in the village? It was best not to give them anything or they would surely multiply like flies. We're going to help him because we are like always abundant in gold, but I can actually think of a couple of my uh, heroes who might shove him aside. All right, what do we get? Uh, oh, we received 10 renown. Oh, that's wonderful. Treasure hunter Rania pulled out a samole and flipped it into the poor beggar's cup, humble cup. With a glint in his eye, he bit the gold coin, uh, gold coin with his yellowed teeth and nodded to Rania. Then in an instant, he vanished into a puff of blue sparkling smoke. An ethereal melodious voice called out in the air. Blessed are those who show kindness to the children of the Watcher. Dun, dun, dun. We just got 50 experience, we have received 10 renown, and we have the Watcher's Charity buff. Oh, that's so nice! I wonder if that's going to make her consider going and hanging out at the Paterian Monastery. That's really fun. And we have Cinnamon. Oh my gosh. Alright, we're going to have to go to the tavern uh, once we finish getting said Cinnamon. Because we need to buy a wash basin and then scrub cinnamon all over ourselves. And Amaranthine has returned with more, uh, there we go, let's feed her, has returned with more money. And then we're going to have to go ahead and go inside. And what are you up to, eh? Air Seaward. He's reading some books. Well, that's a, you know what, Zane, you go ahead and read a book. You're still, like, really, really beat up from that poor horrible event i can't believe he tried to help out that woman and he just got beat up for his troubles it's kind of sad um i might have him craft some more items i kind of really want to cast mend successfully on a sim though like one who has the plague and see if that cures them and i kind of want to collect some of my other oh there's a somebody with the plague down here yes let's go here Oh wait, our falcon's coming back. 
We have venison. Thank you, Griffin. Let's go ahead and feed you and send you hunting, Fooey. Um, where are we going? Oh dear. He really listened to that like go here before anything else. Um, let's summon our falcon. Call Griffin. And then Renia, don't think I have forgotten about you. I just can't leave him alone. Uh gussy self up, write a war poem using war and kingdom uh royalty. Those are really hard to actually get our hands on. And I'm gonna let Renia just kind of stay there for a minute. Then she's going to Okay, there we go. Where's our griffin? There you are, our wonderful falcon. Let's send you hunting. I really want to make a baby dragon before the day is over. And then guard Elliot. As soon as we're done with our griffin, I'm going to come over. I want to try casting mend on him. I want to see what happens. We need to gather some herbs and we need to scry into the future of the war. Alright, did it work? This is so cool. I just really want to see what happens if we cast mend. Come on. There you go. <gasps> he doesn't have the blank anymore. This is awesome. Oh my gosh, Zane, you are fantastic. Let's go ahead and start collecting all of the plants that are over here, all of the minerals. Uh, there you go, buddy. And then I'll come back to you in a bit. Rania, it is time. We are dousing your rump in cinnamon. We are failing this quest. I have never performed so badly at a quest before. So we need to make this happen. Let's see. Hygiene. Wash basin. Maybe this lovely silver one. She is Rania Silverglee. She should have a silver wash basin. That seems entirely appropriate. I'm actually going to get rid of the chamber pot and replace it with a wash basin because that seems to fit her a lot better. And she just has no money. I can't believe I spent that cover self with cinnamon. I can't believe I spent so much money on on like food, but she could go and trade all these cabbages for infinite amounts of wealth and grass debris. We know that now. Just gosh, you really have to pay a lot to like lead an expedition over there. We finally smell of cinnamon. Okay, I'm covered in Griselda repellent. That should protect me long enough to deliver a mystic grog dose to knock her out. So now we need to purge the beast of metal. It is time, my friends, to climb into the pit of the pit beast and bring out all of the metal that is inside. We have taken far too long on this probably supposed to be a really quick and easy quest, but I have had so much fun However, I am ready to see where our adventures will take us next. So, when we return, we will be following Rania as she dives into the pit and we try to help Griselda to get all of those treasures. Who knows what kind of loot is down inside of her anyway. All of those treasures out of her gullet. I hope you guys are eager as I am to join me. If you could, do please leave a like for Griselda's help. And if you have not yet done so, so do please consider subscribing to become a citizen of Moss Stone Kingdom, and I shall see you all next time. Bye-bye!